Hey Grokites, today we're gonna grok how not to raise sons who behave like Harvey Weinstein. I recently wrote an article for my website, Grok Nation, the link is below, and I talked about the disgusting cover-up of the misogynistic Hollywood mogul Harvey Weinstein. Decades of sexual abuse allegations finally coming to the fore. The take-home message was that I'm really not surprised that this happens. I assume it happens all the time. That's just what power and patriarchy look like, and it sucks. And I got into a few skirmishes with people very close to me who thought that I should be outraged and shocked. And I am outraged, but I'm really not shocked. I dismiss these friends of mine as optimistic Pollyanna types who just don't really know what it's like in my industry. And I went about my day. But then my friend, Avital Norman Nathman, who's also one of our Grok Nation editors, said something to me that did shock me. She said to me, will your boys be like this? And I was shocked. I said, what? What could she mean? Oh. She was asking if, God help me, I'm raising boys who will become men that girls and women will fear. Wow. I mean, it hit me like a ton of bricks, a ton of denial. Bricks. I mean, of course not, I wanted to say. Of course not. But here's the thing. I was raised to not trust men. I was explicitly told by my father, rest his soul, to protect myself, my body, my heart from men because men only want one thing. They want sex. Honestly, I didn't really feel that affected by this because I was a late bloomer. Maybe that's why I was a late bloomer. But anyway, throughout my entire life, my experience has been hearing about girls and women getting their hearts broken because guys only wanted one thing, sex. I have yet to meet a man, even the nicest ones, who said that they were not motivated by their desire to have sex with a woman. Like, that's a thing. Even nice guys, like, they really want to have sex. And mind you, my father was faithful to my mother for 53 years of marriage. And I was raised with this notion of you get married as a virgin, you stay married to one person the rest of your life, you're happy or you're not, you die, end of story. Like that was considered normal for me. That's how I grew up. So the question I've had to grapple with, literally, in the wake of all of this Harvey Weinstein stuff and all of the conversations I've been having with friends of mine, with friends raising boys, is the following. Will the lack of trust in men that my parents raised me with serve me well as I raise my own sons? Have I raised them to believe that no one will trust them? That their sex alone makes them a weapon for hurting people? No. My boys will be different and yours will be too. Here are the things I didn't even realize I'm already doing to ensure that girls and women do not fear my sons. Number one, equality. I teach my boys that everyone is virtually the same. Meaning, we all have the same hearts, we have the same chemistry, we have the same desire to be loved and respected and protected, everyone. Boys and girls, men and women, black, white, Asian, Native American, Jewish, Christian, Muslim, any sexual orientation or socioeconomic background, we're all virtually the same. Number two, rights. Everyone has a right to feel safe. If you put someone in a situation where they don't feel safe, that's not okay. And it's not for you to try and convince them that they should feel safe because they are allowed to have feelings and feelings aren't facts. So if you are with someone and you discover that they do not feel safe, back off. Number three, consent. I have already started talking to my sons about this and will continue to do so. You do not have the right to touch someone if they don't want to be touched. That goes for friends, girlfriends, neighbors, even family. And if you don't want to be touched, even by your own mother, you have a right to not be touched, absolutely with no exception. Number four, common sense. I really can't believe I have to say this, but I do, and we do, we all have to say this. It is never okay to be intimate or touch someone who is under the influence of drugs or alcohol to the point that they cannot give consent ever, never. Number five, location. You are responsible for where you are. If you are in a place where there are bad things going on, leave and report it. If you see people who are grossly intoxicated, throwing up, passing out, leave. Strip clubs and places where people get paid to have sex, don't go there. It is your responsibility to protect a man or a woman that you see in a dangerous situation. Get out, get help, call the police. 
That's on you. Number six, ingesting. Scientifically speaking, the human brain doesn't really behave with great judgment in the teens and even into the 20s. Once you add alcohol or drugs to that brain, a lot of decisions made with poor judgment can happen. Things you would never think you would do, believe me, people do them when under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Do not think that you are special or immune to the effects of drugs and alcohol. In addition, ingesting pornography rarely elevates you as a human being and likely contributes to the degradation and abuse of men and women, period. Number seven, daily. Every single day, respect people that you interact with, but specifically pay special attention to those who have not been appreciated or represented historically. Women, people of color, our lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, and questioning friends, and people of different socioeconomic statuses are the ones most affected by what we call patriarchy. We are all humans on this planet, and there are a lot of bad people. But it is your job, it's my job, it is our job to do better than we can even imagine. Because we have inherited a broken world, and it is our job to fix it. It is not your responsibility to complete the work, but neither is it for you to ignore it. And God help us if we cannot turn this thing around, one boy at a time. This has obviously been something that's been on my mind. I have a feeling it's been on your mind too. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and leave your comments below so I can see where I've gotten it wrong, where I've gotten it right, and where we can build from here. Thanks for watching.